to gusto ko gera. I love speed. Come on, baby. Is that don't put your gears in neutral. Ito buen dia. Let's go. Ito rate nyo nga ako. How's my driving so far, ha? Huh? Yo, what is up guys? What is up mga karo? So, we are back with another uh, video. Okay, medyo kinakabahan pa ako. May araw na to. I'm gonna bring you with me. So, biyahe natin papunta ang uh, Makati. This is about uh, 30, 30 kilometers away balikan. And, uh, uh, yan o. Yan o, sarap sa nagmumotor. Ano oras na ba? Alas uh, 11 na yata when I left So tignan natin First time kong magmotor na medyo malayo layo But I think I can do this So ito papunta tayo ng C4 naman to We're gonna make a right here dito sa C4 road na to So this is the first time that I will have a taste uh, Ross Boulevard the last time yung unang well technically ito yung unang vlog natin for this moto vlog although ang plano ko ipopost sila sa parehong uh, channel so this is Kaaro Moto yeah ganda ng pangalan ano and that way makilala nyo ako doon and then at the same time makilala nyo rin yung channel ng sneakers ko sa isang channel so basically what I do with the other channel is that I make vlogs ukay ukay a review just like what I did kagabi kaya medyo narita yun ng, ng alis ngayong umaga but yeah that's what I do dun sa isang channel natin since first time natin magpunta ng Makati using this then I guess yung takbong guwapo lang so hindi tayo kailangan magpag racing racing so safe driving lang medyo stiff yung aking kamay ah, yung aking braso I think because of the backpack so medyo mabigat yung backpack ko pa yung pa isa na medyo mahirap for me so I have like a 17 or 15.6 inch na laptop na ginagamit ko pang edit ng mga vlogs natin yun oh. so sa, asa na nga ba ako? okay so we are here dito sa Navotas area ito yung C4 ito direction nito dire diretso papuntang pier ito so uh, I guess one of the goal nitong vlog na to is para ipakita sa inyo ano mangyayari sa kalye I'm not expecting anything na extraordinary na makita natin sa kalye habang tayo papunta ng work please subscribe to this channel ang makikita nyo rito basically is that yung kumisan yung mga daily activities natin so I'll make it a uh, a subject for this vlog okay yung mga biyahe natin uh, and syempre yung progression natin bilang isang uh, not only a vlogger kundi yung progression natin bilang isang rider cause ako mismo I, I, I bought this last October although hindi ko siya masyadong nira-ride so I have like 2 months pa lang nito uh, a little bit more with that 2 months span of time napakadalang ko siyang i-ride so the more I guess this vlog will allow me to do more riding and that way mas maging or mas matuto ako ng tamang pagmamaneho ng motor although I have accumulated number of years ng uh, uh, driving dito sa Manila alright quiet muna ako pagka mga ganito cause I really have to focus on our driving okay kasi ayaw natin maipit sa mga truck na to ang laki oh Punta ka rito ka, Aro. Okay. Yeah. Please uh, subscribe to the channel naman dyan. Uh, got a lot of goals na gusto kong gawin dito sa channel natin na to. Part of that would be like modifications. Hopefully, magawa natin depending on how this uh, channel uh, grows. So yeah, tulungan nyo akong ma-reach yung mga goal natin dito. And probably someday, I can give back to you guys at Makaaro in whatever way that I can. Andito tayo ngayon sa... Ooh. Yeah, by the way, doon sa magtatanong bakit Kaaro Moto. Kaaro is a word for kaibigan from Pangasinan. Okay, so I am a native of Pangasinan. I spent my 20 years of my life sa Pangasinan. So doon ako pinanganak at lumaki. And I left. I graduated from 
high school which was late actually pakahirap ng buhay eh so I graduated when I was 19 already so yeah kaaro basically is a word that's kaibigan so when I say kaaro mo to it's uh, actually kaibigan mo to and as you can see mga kaaro I'm very cautious about uh, how I drive so yun doon sa mga taga Pangasinan dyan na mahilig manood ng mga mga moto vlogs okay you got a kaaro that represents you all please please subscribe to the channel you know what to do guys sa mga kaaro subscribe and hit that bell or notification bell para whenever I uh, post new vlogs eh notified kayo okay I think I'm not in a good position especially kung gusto kong maglulusot so I guess have to switch place okay so medyo alanganin to I think with riding or driving a three wheel or four four wheels eh ito natutunan ko yung pag position mo ng tama napaka importante yan sa kalsada and I think it applies to motorcycling as well I think lang naman ang nagiging cause ng mga road accidents because is that yung pangit na pag position ng isang rider sa kalsada or if not that's a big factor kung ako tatanungin ako lang naman yan validate that through your comments okay go sir through the comment section below mga kaaro so uh, that's what I think sumasakit yung uh, or medyo nangangalay yung aking kaliwang arm huwag kayong magtataka ako paminsan minsan dito sa channel na to ay eh, magshishare ako ng mga natututunan ko sa kalye or overall sa motorcycle riding and sometimes I will incorporate yung mga learnings ko yung mga alam ko pagdating sa riding ng four wheels talagang mahirap pagka Nagdrive ka sa ganitong lugar at napakarami mga riders na eksperyensyado Medyo mahihirapan ka sumabay I love speed! Come on baby! Okay, isang natutunan ko doon sa isang video na napanood natin is that Whenever you stop on a uh, traffic uh, intersection na ganito is that don't put your gear sa neutral just put it on the first gear and that way in case may mangyari sa likod eh po pwede kang umangat because you're on the first gear hindi sabihin po pwede kang umusat but ah, that, that's what I'm doing I'm trying to apply that sa mga knowledgeable about uh, motorcycles please let me know confirm if oh boy ito mahirap pagka nagkakasabay sabay medyo kinakabahan pa ako medyo sisingitan ka eh one day oh, <laughs> one day eh iiwanan ko kayo <laughs> just kidding okay cool cool lang tayo like I said takbong guwapo lang mga kaaro so yeah that's what we are actually doing ano tayo mag racing racing pagka nasa freeway tayo hindi sa isang setting na ganito kasi wala din naman pagka ikaw kasi nagmamaneho ng ganito mamadali ka eh pagdating din doon sa finish lines eh pareho rin naman kayo ng position so unless you have an emergency of course uh, so chill chill lang mga kaaro so we are approaching eto Manila na to that's a Pasig river right there on my left and on my right so there here you go come on come on baby I might be in the wrong position kasi ipitan na dyan so let's go ahead so let's nod the head and pagkahingi ka ng space by the way I'm just wearing as you can see uh, denim na jacket kasi I thought um, mas malamig siyang suotin let's see if this is recording siguro halfway na rin naman tayo sabihan natin papunta Makati this is a good thing about motorcycling I guess it's just the reason why maraming kumukuha ng motor dito sa Pilipinas it's very self explanatory bukod sa nakakatipid ka ng oras I guess pati sa pera kasi mas mura ang gas eh kumpara sa magkukommute ka you save time definitely that's another and uh, yeah so yun yung mga reason actually my own reason also but of course aside from that is you get to enjoy if you have the passion for riding motorcycles you get to enjoy the places uh, and then yung riding mismo yan Oops, sing it, sing it. I 
Ito yung sinasabi nila Traffic talaga pagka na traffic Pati yung motor Whoops Banking banking Whoops Ayoko nyan Oh there we go Masi basi na Tumahina pa ako sa mga ganito singitan eh Whoops There we go So what do you call me? Karomoto Alrighty Karomoto is in the house baby Ayoko nyan Malaki yan Ayoko nga maipit dyan Kaya dito tayo Discarded tayo sa kanan Try natin dito Medyo nangangawit yung braso ko Iniisip ko sana ng take yung taas eh oh. That's sidewalk eh So hindi tayo dapat Hindi tayo dapat umangat dyan eh Daanan ng tao yan So I mean ito is fine Pag lang yung daanan ng tao I mean I think technically this is still A daanan ng sasakyan Yung jeep na yun na mali ang position nun Kung kakaliwa ka dapat Pumwesto ka na dun Kanina Ayun yung sinasabi ko mga kaaro So You know That can be That can cause An accident Okay So Kalalampas lang natin Ang Luneta area Alright I think I'm doing okay Pero hindi pwedeng Maging kampante Let me share you this story Mga kaaro When I was Still Learning how to drive For reals In fact It was six wheels yung unang din drive ko na munti ka huma disgrasya. Pauwi na kami ng Manila. So yeah, the story was medyo tinatamad or medyo inaantok yung aming driver noon. So he asked me if I can drive like mga 10 kilometers lang daw para siya makapagpahinga. So I did. And uh, probably I was driving mga 10 kilometers na. Kampante na ako noon eh. Chillax na ako. Since uh, ako drive na ako ng 10 kilometers, I thought that I could drive more. With a chillax mind So naging kampante ako basically no? That's what I'm saying May na-encounter akong butas As a new driver Ang pumasok kaagad sa isip ko is that Iwasan yung Siyempre yung butas na yon. So that's what I did And uh, unfortunately Pag iwas ko doon Yung maliit na action na ginawa akong pag iwas Kumbaga it was amplified Basta malaki ang impact ng pag ikot ko ng manibela Sobrang laki pala nang iwas ko kasi that time hindi pa ako kumbaga hindi ko kalkulado ang ikot ng manibela ang tendency ko nun pag iwas uh, binawi ko pag bawi ko tag ganun narinig ko sa or sa, sa rear uh, tire and uh, hindi ko na alam kung ano nang mga nangyayari pero sabi sa akin ng driver namin uh, nakikipag-agawan daw ako inaagaw daw sa akin yung manibela and I wasn't aware about that Bottom line is what I'm trying to say is that Huwag masyadong mag-relax Hindi ako naging masyadong chill Eh Malamang hindi nangyari yun Diyan tayo Mas gusto kong lumulusot dito sa left side I got more freedom to do what I want Ang uh, hawit na yung kanan ko For whatever reason it is Ito medyo mahirap sa driving with uh, Itong gantong klase Stick shift Tama ba? Do we use the same um, term pagdating sa motorcycle kasi sa kotse stick shift is manual and probably yeah, stick shift is something na pwedeng gamitin naman kasi it's manual so yeah, I can be wrong ito papuntang Slex ito papuntang Manila ito papuntang Ayala Fip, 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 fip. Oh, mukhang uuulan ha I hate what I'm seeing mga ka -aro. I'm not sure kung dahil lang sa 
visor ko which is uh, hindi naman masyadong dark pero I'm seeing a hint ng pwedeng maging weather ngayong araw na to so I'm hoping hindi so if not lagot tayo ayo kung madigo sa ulan later I'll probably leave the office mga 4 ayo kung maligo sa ulan ayun ah konti lang sir Alright, here's my office. Itong office dito sa kanan. That's uh, what you see right now. Ayun. Ito. Okay, so we're parking right here. Kagandang parking eh. Thank you. So we're going home. Go! So the left tire Rita. De La Rosa Street. Chino Roses. We're gonna make a left and then pupunta naman tayo ng uh, Pabwendia. So pabalik. So there. Yeah. What's going on? Andito tayo sa De La Rosa to Papuntang Makati Med or papuntang Ayala Okay Time check It's uh, 4 or mag 4 actually That's about uh, 10 to 4 on my clock Let's see, urasan natin ng content si kung anong oras tayo makakarating I thought this is such yeah go go ahead ma'am all right this is chino roses all right ito buen dia okay so this is hill puyat and we're gonna make a uh, left somewhere dito yeah nito ay sa yakal kalalabas lang ng natin ng yakal and look at this hindi kaya Alrighty, oh, okay. Alright, excuse me. Alright. Wait to power ng motorcycle this time. Oops. Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. So kung hindi tayo sa sabak sa mga ganyang klase ng traffic. Then hindi, hindi tayo matututo. So there we go, muntik na tayo maipit dun Ito naman, dire-direcho to Labas nito, or tagus nito Is Ross Boulevard, so Let's go! Now, ito medyo mahirap pagkahapon Nagmamadali na lahat ng mga tao Palabas na tayo ng LRT area So Someone's calling. All right, let's go. Okay, there you go. Let's go. So, Ross Boulevard na tayo mga karo. So, titest natin ang bilis ni... By the way, pangalan pala nitong ating motor IC Uno. So, reason, i-discuss ko yan in the next... Uh, few vlogs maybe pero yeah pangalan ko sa kanya Uno you kinda have a, an idea bakit ko siya pinangalanan ng Uno no? probably driving for mga 30 minutes na maybe uh, mas maiksi pa but so far yeah I, I think uh, or I'm sure if I'm driving a car right now it's gonna be probably slower yeah you're probably noticing mga karod kung paano umaandar tong vlog natin is basically I am sharing with you how the traffic is dito sa Manila okay but sometimes we're gonna go to other places yeah mamamasyal din naman tayo we're gonna do like travel moto vlogging 
and uh, para ma-try din natin yung mga ibang lugar yeah let's see if I can do this oh boy come on uh huh oh huh magkalumakasagi dahil mapapamahal tayo ng gastos Buti na lang hindi umulan. Kanina while I was in Makati actually, umuulan. So, medyo kinakabahan ako. Especially wala tayong raincoat na panangga sa ulan. Let's go! Ito, gusto ko gyera. This is what I like! Alright, how's my driving so far mga kaaro? Rate nyo nga ako Take note though, 2 months Well, not entire 2 months actually Ito pa ano 2 months ako may motor na hindi naman araw-araw gamit And uh, yeah, siguro kung na-drive ko ito mga 10 times pa lang Or probably even less so, Rate nyo nga ako, how's my driving so far? Ha? Huh? Okay, makakatulong And give me some advice actually I'm open to any idea that would of course protect me sa, sa kalsada yeah, those are my experience riders Jan. Please let me know how you manage um, you know, kasi our the, the road kasi eventually we're gonna do long rides. I heard may mga tao dito, yung mga endurance rides uh, happening this year. So, syempre para makasali sa ganun, you have to be very kato pa no, technical na sa knowledge mo about riding motorcycle. With your help, mga advice nyo, maybe from your own experience, especially if you've done, makakatulong yan. So, please let me know. There are a couple of people na sinusundan ko actually. Uh, hindi tayo mayabang na we're gonna claim na we're biasa dito. In fact, much of the contents eh, uh, dito sa channel natin eh, will be about my experience. Of course, with the places na pupuntahan natin. And then, syempre, sa pagmumotor specifically kasi you know this is again a documentation of my journey of learning how to motorcycle uh, ride and uh, anyway so we are here Manila Ross Boulevard and then ito is uh, I don't know which uh, basta luneta na itong susunod Rizal Park okay ay 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 saan tayo sisingit nito what the heck? Ito naka hinto ng ganto. Wala tayong magagawa. Pero hmm. 